Hey everyone, today I'm back with the new bag in review video. I feel like it has been ages since I've done one. And you might remember this little guy. I did an unboxing with this bag back in May when I got it. And I just wanted to share with you what I think about the bag and to talk about the issue that I got with it. So a little bit of a backstory. I had this bag in mind for years. I remember I always saved it on Pinterest. Whenever I saw it on Instagram, I double clicked immediately. I just was so attracted to this bag. It's no secret that I love Valentino. I have three pair of the Rockstar shoes. These are just so comfortable. They're very good quality. And when I saw the lock bag, which is basically um, the Rockstar shoe in a bag, I just fell in love with it. I feel like this bag, it's very classic and very timeless, yet is very modern with the studs and it's very me as well. So the reason I didn't get it before is because I thought it was a little bit too expensive for what it was or at least for what I was ready to pay. I got most of my bag uh, earlier in the 2000s, they were a lot more affordable and I also get a lot of my bag pre-locked, which means that I'm used to saving Quite a bit of money on bags and I searched online for this bag but every time I came across it pre-loved it was nearly the same price as buying it new it was maybe 50 or 60 euros of a difference and I wasn't ready to uh, just splurge on a new bag that being said I knew that I loved this bag and that I was missing a small crossbody bag in a neutral color because I have my PS11 in black that I love I had my wallet on chain uh, in red that I also love, but I needed something very neutral that I could wear with everything in my wardrobe. In March of this year, I went to the seaside with my besties and I actually saw a beautiful Valentino love bag in the winter in a beautiful light blue color. It was an instant crush. I went inside the shop, I tried it on and I nearly got it. The thing that like stopped me was that I needed a neutral bag and a light blue bag isn't really a neutral. I already have my Philip Lim Pashley bag in a beautiful Tiffany blue green color and although it is a great bag and I really like it, it doesn't go with everything in my wardrobe, especially comes fall and winter. And I just, I just didn't purchase it, it was a bit too expensive, it wasn't the right time, the right color, I just it didn't feel right. And Thank God, a couple of months later, actually in May, I was browsing a website and I came across a coupon code for Luisa Fioroma with, I think it was 15% off your entire order if it was over 300 euros. So I went on there because I know Luisa Fioroma, it's a great website. I've been ordering from them for years. They have a great service, they have great quality, it's very fast, their selection is just on point. And I was actually lucky enough to go to their shop in Firenze in Italy a couple of times as well. So I just know the company, I totally trust them. And I was on their website and I saw this little guy in this beautiful beige color. The color is actually called light pink, but if you ask me, it's more of a nude beige color. And I just saw it and that was it. I was sold, I clicked it home, it was perfect. I was torn for the size because I got the small there is a smaller size, which is, I believe, the micro, and then you have medium and large. And I was torn between small and medium because I thought that I wouldn't be able to fit everything that I needed to inside this bag. But as you can see, I can clearly fit all my life in it. And actually, next week, I'm going to have a what's in my bag with this little guy. So I decided to get the small one, I got it, I did the unboxing with you on camera. And ever since, I've been loving this bag and I've been carrying it everywhere with me. It literally goes with every single outfit, no matter if I wear prints, if I wear black, if I wear white, if I wear something very casual, something very chic, it goes with everything. So it's just a perfect bag. I know that not everyone around me like it, but I just love it, so it's all that matters. But there is a but. This summer, I went on a road trip with my mom. We went for 12 days road trip across the United Kingdom and we went up to Scotland. And I decided to travel light, and by light I mean really light. I only had a carry-on and I took one bag, which was this one. I figured out that since it goes with everything, I didn't need a second bag with me. So the trip starts and on the fourth, fifth day, we end up in Interborough. 
I ended up having a very bad day. Like it was the worst day of the year. It was raining. We had so many issues with our bedroom, our bathroom, my car had so many issues. And at some point I just took my bike and I went down to the lobby to have a chat with um, the manager just because everything was going wrong. And I was in the corridor, I had my bag crossbody just like usual and I was walking and then I heard a big bang and my bag fell on the floor. And at the time I thought it was because of the chain. To be honest with you, I didn't realize that the chain has had this little thing when I ordered it. It doesn't bother me so much, but I feel like this is a bit ugly. I love the chain, it's a beautiful four chain style. I just think it's very delicate and very unique and very beautiful. But it has this little thing which basically separates so that you can take it off and use it as a clutch, which is something that I personally would never do because I just prefer to wear it on my shoulder. So at the time, I was a bit worried that it might um, get open and just drop on the floor and when that was the case I thought it was the chain that has untied but basically the chain broke it broke on this side um, near that little thing it didn't like open it just I had the chain and then I had a piece on the other end and I was just so mad because I was having a very bad day this bag was like two months old at the time I was abroad, I didn't have any other bag, there was no way I could fix it, I was just out of my mind. So I immediately contacted Luisa Fiaruma, I sent them photos and they were great. They got back to me within the same day, they um, asked about the issue, they immediately contacted DHL so that I could send this bag back and they just did a wonderful job, they have a good customer service because within I would say 15 days I had my bag back and was as good as new, the chain was fixed and they paid for everything. So I was very pleased but still, when you pay this price for a bag you expect to have incredible quality. Now I know that it's impossible to have everything perfect every single time. There are some things that have some defects that you don't see and sometimes it slips through and you cannot have something perfect every single time but still I was so disappointed and mad and actually thankfully my mom had three bags with her so I was able to borrow her bag for the rest of the stay because otherwise I didn't have any bag and I would have to go and run to Zara or Topshop and pick up the first thing that I saw because I wasn't on the market for a new bag I just treated myself to a new one. So apart from that I feel like this bag is a great quality. The leather is beautiful. I was very worried at first because I thought it was like plain leather, it could scratch easily, but it doesn't. It's just beautiful, it's very smooth, it doesn't mark easily, it's aging beautifully as well considering that I use the bag every single day. Um, the clasp, like the closure, was a bit stiff at first. For the past, for the first two weeks it was very hard to open and close, it was a nightmare, but now that I use it every single day, it's just so much more easier, it's very sturdy as well. The studs are beautiful, also they don't hurt when you walk and your bag is bouncing around, they absolutely don't hurt, and the chain is beautiful, doesn't hurt either, whether you're wearing it on bare skin, you don't feel it at all. Really, really love this bag, and the color that I got is just so perfect, I mean, I'm just in love with this bag. So. Overall, I really like this bag. I'm really glad that I got it. I'm glad I picked up this color because it goes with everything. Uh, whenever I travel, that's a bag that I take with me. Although I learned my lesson and I always travel with at least two bags now. Um, that's the bag that I use on a daily basis. I took this one in Greece during summer, loved it. I took also this one to uh, our honeymoon in Vegas and West, loved it as well. It's very practical, it's just, beautiful beautiful so I'm so glad that I got it but I'm so glad that I got it with a coupon code as well because 15% on such an expensive handbag saves you quite a lot of money so I'm really happy I'm really happy with the customer service at Luisa Viaroma so if you ever consider buying something from them do because they are amazing so yeah that's it for today's video hope that you enjoyed I will put some more information in the description box down below about the size of the bag, the color, um, the link, all that kind of information will be down below as well as some outfit photos with the bag so that you can have 
a global idea of how it looks like on. If you have any more questions about the bag, please pop that in the comments down below. I just love reading your comments and I always answer to all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back next week with a what's in my bag. Take care everyone, bye!